This guy talks a Peter Obida impregnating you with Peter B petition. Man, I talk too much about Obida family. Just they hit this like button. They share this video. May all Obida family may they see the sickness when Tinubu they suffer from. And what did they warrant in the This man don't talk everything for this video. Please just then share this video, comment your opinion, listen to the video carefully so that you go understand what this person they try to talk. And if you are new to my page, please, I beg, just hit the follow button, follow this page for more updates. It be like say P2B don't pregnant Tinibu with the petition he placed at the tribunal. Nigerians, there are three things you cannot hide the sun. A nine month old pregnancy and Tinibu's sickness. Yes, Tinibu has just come back from wherever he went for surgery. You need to watch this video to the end and see what they have been hiding. One thing about Tinibu is that you cannot hide his sickness from the rest of other Nigerians. Apart from his backlog. Of controversial life that has continued to trail him making a sick old man a president fostering him on Nigerians is a crime against humanity and they've been trying to hide this we've been able to endure through the eight agony years of Buhari but the one of Tinibu will be the breaking point of the impunity of the Nigerian state Tinibu don't come back from where he went to and like I told you earlier, he had a surgery. You need to watch this video. Oh, yeah, take a look at that uh, right arm. You can see that flash of red cycle. You can see the tube that is fit to his um, arm. Watch it again. You can see that that's exactly the tube that is attached to Tinubu's arm. Nigeria is in for something big. Can you see that? Did you just see what I just saw now? Where a hired crowd of people screaming, their president select, their president select, as far as I'm concerned. And the man who, in the normal drama of waving hand, you saw that thing right here. I am not a medical doctor. But this is what I read about that very thing you just saw under his arm while Tinibu was raising his hand. You saw that, right? This is exactly what that is. It says, peripherally inserted central catheter. A PICC is a thin flexible tube that is inserted into the vein in the upper arm and guided or threaded into a large vein above the right side of the heart called the superior vena cava it is used to give intravenous fluids blood transfusions chemotherapy and other drugs that is exactly what you saw right here it is not um it is not a bad thing for someone to be sick especially old people like tinibu it is not a bad thing it is a natural cause and no one should hang tinibu for that but for apc to shove tinibu down the throat of nigerians as their president under his condition is a crime against humanity i will keep saying that and we hope that this calamity would be averted at the tribunal because that is the last hope and that is the last shred of hope to hold this fragile unworkable government of nigeria together that is just the only hope to rescue Nigeria from the calamity that is about to befall it. Because what Nigerians have gone through in APC government under Bugari will be a shy's play.
to what is to come under Tinubu. The major thing about this whole thing is that the man never won election. He was fostered on Nigeria and I mean Tokam. But they say it is only the court that will prove that because they will only tell you go to court. Yes, people will be taking the petition to court and ask Nigerians to calm down. We are going to see how they are going to scale the hurdles of his eligibility. One, to contest for that election. Having that drug-related case indictment. And when they scale through that one, because Nigeria is a country that can make a man a woman and a woman a man overnight. If he scale that one, let's see how this one that is coming up, dual citizenship, how he's going to scale that too. Because from every, every um, uh, 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 evidence that is coming up, is pointing towards one direction. Because they can come up to one and say, oh, he has denounced that uh, citizenship before the election. But why didn't he declare it when he was the president-elect? has in fact committed the crime of perjury perjury which is lying under oath now on his INEC ec9 declaration which is essentially sworn davids stating one's intention to run for president um there are several there, there are several questions that are asked on the affidavit one of them is um uh have you ever obtained uh citizenship of another country and on the INEC ec9 form he ticked no now um this document proves that he has in fact obtained citizenship of at least one other country that we know of which happens to be gay enough mm -hmm. yeah so let us see how that one will go to if he scales through that one let's see how he's going to also scale the 25 percent of which the supreme court have already given judgment concerning this in 2008 respect to bugari there was an interpretation by the supreme court of that provision or a similar provision the interpretation was that that and federal capital should be construed conjunctively. In other words, it means you must get the 24, the two days, the 25 percent in two days, and also you must get 25 percent in the federal capital territory. If you go by the interpretation of the Supreme Court in 2008. No, we are watching them. Let's see how he's going to scale through all of this. As they are trying to, by all means, foster a sick old man upon Nigerian people by force. You see? So, Tilibu, you are welcome. Welcome back to Nigeria and I hope you returned with the returning certificate as president select of INEC, not Nigerians. That is just all I am bringing to you as an update. Nigerians, your voice is needed. Drop it on the comment section. Let me have your opinion on this. Does this reflect your opinion? What do you think about this whole mess? And what is your hope with respect to this transition to calamity? That is all I can see that will happen on 29th of May. I'm just a voice, an advocate for good governance. And good governance starts with the way and manner those who answer your excellency gets into power <laughs> it must be excellent according to peter Obi. please help me share this video and let's have your opinion on this bye bye for now and don't forget to subscribe